Today I'm gonna be taking you along for a quick shoot that I'm doing for Hyundai Santa Fe. I'm rocking as a one-man band, so I will try my best to capture every aspect of my day and how I go about these shoots. Let's just quickly pack a bag and be on our way. Well, at the moment we are on our way to our location where we're gonna take some shots of this car. So we need to get a couple of photos which is gonna be used in the ad campaign. Together with that we are looking to film a quick social media video that also Hyundai can use for their local promotions. All right so when it comes to our setup we'll be filming on a Sony a7 IV. Just quickly gonna pop this lens. I think this is one of the best uh, combo if you're a hybrid content creator. When it comes to a photo, video, you name it, it can do it. I am using Ronin RS3, just a regular one. Problem with this is that it is actually not too good if you're trying to mount the weight of a Sony a7 IV plus Sigma 24-70 vertically while you have your regular mount. So this mount is great for horizontal shooting. However, when it comes to vertical, here's what I decided to do. I went on Amazon, I found a $70 thing. I'll put it on screen. It actually allows you to mount your camera vertically and it kind of gives you all this mounting options. Bam, just like that. We're gonna flip it back and lock the camera. So this way, this way, you have a really nice vertical setup and also, you have enough room to balance it correctly, so nothing is really touching. You don't need to use any sort of adapters. My hands are already frozen, so I'll just uh, quickly balance this thing. Well, I don't really like the position of the car. Let's just move it a little bit. Where is the handbrake on this thing? Oh. As you see, I move the car under three-quarter angle and we'll go get our first shot. Let's go. By the way, as I said, since I don't have anyone to fill with me, this is what I'm using as my tripod. The sign. We are currently at F5. My biggest mistake at the moment is that actually I forgot to bring any gloves with me, so it's gonna be a very quick sesh. We'll just start filming. I will be rolling and talking at the same time so I can kind of share of what am I actually doing. So the first shot is gonna be sort of a reveal. We will start from a little bit closer of the car and we will slowly move to the right trying to keep the car right in the center just like that we would move a little bit closer to the car so right now i'm looking at this front headlight i really like the way how it looks again i will start adjusting the filter just to right about here we will try to avoid having other car in the shot as well and we will slowly move like that and start revealing the front wheel just like so also since as i mentioned the sun is right over there what we'll try to do is to get a nice 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 shot of the front emblem slowly slowly revealing it nice sun leak there bam what is really important for any interior shots you just want to make sure that everything is nice and clean but if there is any sort of covers that are covering the cup holders or anything like that you want to make sure that you're closing those simply because it just looks visually better another tip that i have that i use constantly on day-to-day -day basis is this seat what i would do is i would move it down that way i have way more space to film around it let me show you this is a polarizer and i'm start slowly rotating it and you can see that the highlight on the steering wheel slowly disappears bam now we just made the exposure even so for this one i'll just slowly move in very 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 slowly just like that now i will just go back to a 60 frames it will crop in a little i'll get another shot of the steering wheel with a little bit of a foreground action from this seat and slowly move to the right. Since we're at this position right over here, I will get a quick close up look at all the buttons that is on the center console. See the potential for a quick transition. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna actually open this window and I'll try to go through it. So maybe we can like mask it or something. Let's see from here one more time, nice and center and slowly moving to the right. 
that can be a pretty cool transition. We'll see in the edit. Yeah, another cool trick that I would strongly recommend you trying on your next shoot is actually getting that shot kind of from higher above through the sunroof. I'm sorry for whoever cleaned this car. I kind of have to take the shot. So we're standing on the car and we'll try to get a nice reveal kind of pull out shot from the interior. Let's see, let's see if it works. So I actually went on 24 mil from right over here. I'll slowly start burning it up and tilting down the camera. I might as well just get a nice shot of the stitching. As you saw again, turning the polarizer left, right and center, it actually kind of helps us get a nice shot right over here of the stitching. Perfect. I will get one more shot, maybe more from the center console. Slowly moving to the right, like that. Bam, done. Good morning, darling. I see you falling in and out of love. Is it because you're cold and heartless, or is it all withdrawals? Forgotten how to be your part of that final scene in Casablanca. I guess the heart is like a time bomb. No white horse for you to ride on. Back guns, be back guns. My God, you're beautiful. If it was two of you, probably break the first one's heart in two. But second time, the charm I had a dream. You lock your father's I think somewhere around this part of the video, I kind of made a strategic decision, strategic call that it's way too cold to film outside on the second camera on this vlogging style oh there is an accident oof that kind of sucks let's see oh. there is a guy Get hit not fun as i mentioned i'm just all by myself today i kind of enjoyed it let me know in the comments what do you think of this style of videos and if you would want to see more of this and with that i'll see you in the next one peace